you're back to my channel, woo! Um, today I thought I'd try out the city sponges. I've seen a lot of videos going around on YouTube past while about the sponges. So I got them in pennies or Primark and this is what they look like. They were two euro. The caption on the little marketing blurb thing says the perfect tool to blend makeup without soaking up any product. Don't know about that. So this is what they look like. First impressions is they look like the chicken fillets that you put in your bra. They feel really soft though. I wanted to try these out today on camera to see if they actually work. Because as I said, they're only two euro and if they do work, it'll be fab. I also have an urge to just buy it. Oh. <laughs> There's no teeth marks, don't worry. So we will start off by using a primer. I've already moisturised and I've already done my eye makeup, which is a tutorial for this makeup look on my channel already if you want to have a look at it. But yeah, I'm using the NYX Photo Loving Primer in Transparent. It's my favourite uh, primer. Well, one of my favourite primers. So, I'm going to just whack it on the sponge. Now, usually I use uh, my fingers for this, but just for the sake of the exercise, I'm going to use it. So there it is. Can you see it? It's rubbing on. Oh. Let's get my hair out of my way. Okay. So, first thoughts. It kind of, it feels really slimy and like it makes, it feels like I'm rubbing something rotten on my face. Oh, I don't like the feeling of it already. I'm not sure if you can see, but it just looks like I'm moving the primer around, like it's not actually soaking into the skin. Like the primer's still sitting on top of my skin. I haven't soaked in whatsoever, it's just moved the product all over my face. Oh, I instantly regret this. I'm gonna have to go with my hand and pat it down. Make sure you wash your hands if you're gonna rub your face like this, but oh. It feels like there's so much on my face as well. I regret doing the primer. I should have just done it with my hands. I did not like it for putting on my primer at all. Now, they would be right in saying that the, so the sponge doesn't soak up anything because there's nothing on it like at all. I'm going to try my foundation and I'm dreading this. So I'm going to try the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in the shade 3.25 with waterproof long wear liquid foundation full coverage. I'm just going to... Oh. One pump. Okay, that was only like a little crappy pump. Crap, I put on way too much. Anyways, let's go. Can you see it? Okay, let's go. Just gonna put it on first a little bit so that everywhere is covered. I might have put a bit too much foundation on, whoopsies. And when I say might have, I mean I absolutely put way too much foundation on. So I'm gonna take a brush and take the excess off. See that? I'm not rubbing it in. I'm just taking a load of the excess foundation off. Cause there's way too much on. So if that proves anything, you do not need to use as much, uh, <laughs> look at the state of me. You don't need to use as much, um, product as you would with a brush because the brush obviously does soak in it but this doesn't so you don't need as much so that's a, a positive oh watch the brows and there is a nice shape to them so you can't get around the brows so you just need a bit of patience Okay, so, so far I absolutely hate this, like, it's doing nothing, it's just moving the foundation all over my face. Like, can you see that? I can't, like, I can't get in here. No matter how hard I try to bend it, it just won't. Oh, it's just not. It's just not blending. I need to use a brush. I need to. This is just the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Nick, you can already see in that time that the two seconds with the brush, it looks instantly better. 
I can still see patches of where ugh, of where the sponge kind of like here it's kind of not as full coverage as it usually would be but as I said I couldn't walk out of the house with just a sponge on the concealer Are you ready this is the LA Pro Conceal in the shade light ivory so act that where we have some darkness to cover it up. This is the Dream Lumi pen by L'Oreal in the shade 01 ivory and just putting over putting that over it for a bit of brightness. I wonder if I pat it will it make any difference? Rather than rub. So I'll pat this side and I'll rub this side. Bad job when I patted it. I'm gonna rub you. Ready? Oh, awful! I hate it. Pat, 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 pat. Okay. I hate these. I never want to see these again. I'm gonna throw them in the bin. Like honestly, there's no use for them whatsoever. They were okay when I patted in the concealer, but like. Who wants to spend 20 minutes patting and concealer? Like it's quicker to do with a brush or a proper sponge. Um, I didn't like it for foundation. I hated it for primer. It doesn't like yeah. I can see what they're doing in terms of like not wasting any of your foundations or anything. Yeah, it doesn't waste anything, and you need to use a lot less than what you think you need to use than what you usually would use on a brush. But like brushes are easier. These are horrible. Stick to. Thing. Also, I have this urge. I want to just cut this in half. I don't know why. I just have an urge to cut it in half. I want to see what the insides look like. You see it? Eh. Eh. Oopsie. Ooh. Yes. It's really. The stuff inside it is really sticky. Anyways, I just thought I'd end that video by cutting it in half because when I look at this, all I want to do is squeeze it. Anyways, yes, I didn't like these at all, so they're going in the bin. And if you like this video, you can subscribe, comment, share, like, tell your mates, mas, and your dads, and I will see you very soon with a new video. Woo! -hoo!